so we're centered. All right. Good morning. Well, it's morning for us. Yeah. I'm a little tired. A little early. <laughs> but that's how dedicated we are to bring you a bat rep. So, so what do we got? What do we got? We got Steel Legion versus right. Speed Freaks Orcs. Yes, yes. I try to keep as mechanized as possible. So it'll be mostly just vehicles on the board. Um, I do have some more Storm Boys. We'll get to that in a sec. 1,500 points. Yeah. Yeah, Storm Boys are fast enough to keep yeah. up with vehicles easily. 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 Uh, from playing on the desert board to, to go along with, uh, I guess, your, your Steel Legion yeah, defending. You kind of just Armageddon there. theme going on. Yes. Oh, I love the story of Armageddon. Yeah. It's a good campaign. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Let's get right into the armies. Uh, any any predictions? What what? How do you feel the game's gonna go? I'm uh I'm hoping for a win. <laughs> I haven't gotten a win yet with this army, and I really I really want one. Well, orcs, we'll give you a run for your money. Probably, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try hard here. I got I got lots of guns to shoot the trucks. It's uh okay. It's those boys are gonna be dangerous. So here we have our 1,500 points of orcs, and with 15 storm boys, which are fast and awesome. Two loot wagons with boom guns. 20 boys inside of a battle wagon with a death roller and um, a big shooter. It's just proxy, it's the same next to it. Inside the second battle wagon, we have custom force field. He does not have the burner and three knobs. One of them has a power claw, the other ones have big choppas. And we have four squads of boys in trucks with the respective knobs, boss pull, power claw. And they want to kill some tanks today because the Imperial Guard's an armored battle group. And so they have, he has three armored fist squads, each with a missile launcher and a melt gun. Then he has another armored fist squad with a, a, a heavy flamer and a heavy bolter. Lehman Russ has normal and that's an armor fist command squad with a turret mounted auto cannon and two grenade launchers and an auto cannon. Another Lehman Russ. And then we have a Lehman Russ command tank with a hull mounted heavy bolter, heavy bolter sponsons, exterminator turret, and heavy stubber. We have two basilisks in the back, or no, they're griffins, and three armored sentinels with last cannons. And so we rolled and it seems to be the trend in all my battle reports. I seem to get first turn. I'm just good at rolling. The dice gods love me. And so, as it is very tank heavy, and I'm going first, and I have my fast army deploying in the center, not much else to do, because I have to take into account all the possibilities of what he will be able to do. So I have to spread out and make it basically as symmetrical as possible in the center to be able to spread out and kill that armored battle group. Jordan sets his guys up in a, a similar manner, again because he has all tanks, all those guys are embarked in tanks, so we make just a big, long line of tanks. Now normally first turn goes pretty fast, but since I don't have much shooting at all, and he has almost all shooting, probably gonna be for a bit longer turn one well again we'll have to see the bastions just count as um difficult and dangerous or actually impassable terrain and oh yeah well obviously it's pitch battle but we have capture and control and so the orcs have pile a junk of awesome well, awesome junk heap which they love and that is say a, a power plant on the fringes of the world and so from space orbit there was a some orc scuffling, they, they drop some space debris, land on the planet, they came to reclaim it, and the Imperial Guard aren't very happy about it. So we're fighting on the, the fringes. He does not steal initiative, thank goodness. Orcs turn one, my one battle, my one looted wagon loses control, he shoots forward, won't be able to shoot this turn. And now I'm just moving my trucks and my battle wagons up. And I'm going to have to, luckily the death roller also gives the same advantage as a reinforced ram in that as I pass over difficult terrain, I get to re-roll um, the difficult terrain test. So it's very hard to get immobilized, 1 in 36 chance. And so I'm just speeding forward as fast as I can because in this game, because he has so many shots and so many tanks, 
unless I get stuck in and get right up to him as fast as possible, he'll be able to pick me apart from across the board. Which is something I don't want to happen. Storm boys likely get a roll of six on their movement, their jetpacks. So they're flying just as fast as any truck. And they're... Everything is just going well, feeling confident. Everything is a nice group around my custom force field. Unfortunately, my boom gun scatters. On to Jordan's turn. Moves back a bit. <laughs> everything he can get. Um, but he, he he was jealous of the orc speed, and so he, he decided to, to run for it as well. Um, that goes flanking on the side there, and he pops smoke on the one. Last cannon, sentinels move up, and they shoot into my one truck. They get two penetrating hits, and they manage to wreck it twice. So I roll in the ramshackle chart. I guess I should have rolled twice, but he gets ramshackle, or Kareen. He, and of course, I got to choose the direction, so I careened right in front of the Armored Sentinel, so it's not too bad. But then, five wounds, I don't save any from the explosion. Which is awful. And I fail my... I, I, I'm gonna get pinned, so I roll again. But I do make it, so... They're, they're in there. But the squad right beside them unloads their little missile launchers. And last guns, and bolters, and... They manage to... Oh, I make my cover safe. So, no more no more dead at this point. The auto cannon shoots at my other truck. Manages, I make my, uh, my cover save. The, the one truck that died from the armor sentinels was out in the front. And so he was not able to, to get that cover save. I made a little mistake there. But he's unloading like crazy into my truck and my battle wagon behind. He does manage to rip off the weapon. Battle Cannon, shooting from the Lehman Russ, manages to scatter exactly in between the Battle Wagons. There was literally like half an inch and he found it, and so it didn't do any damage to either of them. So, luck is on the Orc side so far. Ah, that's going back and forth. Scatter lasers, and... <laughs> well, the, the, the Lehman Russ, no, the Armor Fist Squads, Tanks are shooting into those the trucks. They don't do, manage to do anything. The Griffins, though, thank goodness they're twin linked. They completely missed, but then they shot again. Direct hit for roll for the second one because they're in a squad. He hits so many of them, and I don't get any cover because their ordnance. I mean their barrage, and they ignore my armor, and so I get pinned. And so I am stuck there. Luckily, though, I'm not running away. But my whole huge squad of Storm Boys, they can be so effective late game, and he successfully annihilated them, almost. And so that is very good for him. Now his command, Lehman Russ, is firing so many shots. It gets, I think, five penetrating. I save almost half of them, and all he manages to do is immobilize my truck. The last Lehman Russ, on the left, shoots. It doesn't scatter, so it's a direct tick on the truck. Hopefully be able to destroy it, but I make my cover save. And so, I successfully nullify anything he is trying to do. Oh, except that he takes off a, a weapon. <laughs> and so, a lot of shots. But not all that much damage done. Into the assault phase, the sentinels, I think, wisely charge the boys. So although, so they won't get the charge. That way the boys won't be able to hurt the front armor. or And so only the power claw gets to attack back. He manages to kill one. Power claw attacks back. Two lucky hits. And I wreck two of them. And so one armor sentinel against the rest of the boys. Again, storm boys were almost completely wiped out. Sentinels aren't looking too good. I'm glad the truck careened into instead of away from all the other tanks. And those tanks are suspiciously up on the left there. And that is turn one. 